viewers, welcome to The Lion King. Oh, a movie that I loved when I was a kid. And I played the game as a kid. And I beat it as a kid. But before we started as a kid, or an adult, I don't even know at this point. I'm, I'm t oh, difficulty. Uh, yeah, two things I want to bring up. Difficulty and uh, there, there is a code. For all of you who don't know, or don't care, or curious, one of the two, there is a code that you can input at the tile screen, or the options, it's the Barry code, B-A-R-R-Y, why, why didn't that work? B-A-R-R-Y, there we go. I, I guess I fumbled that, I don't know. Get, you have invisibility, you have the pride lens, you can turn that on, so, wait. Easy? 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 So, someone want to explain that? Easy? Um... You can change the level, you can do whatever you want, you can beat the game in like 5 seconds, it's fun for the whole family. Uh... Difficult sections... You got three modes, easy, normal, hard, uh... Easy enemies take less hits. You got like all lives and stuff. It, it's, it's cool. Normal enemies take more hits. Uh, more less lives. You got like two lives. Um, a, a couple continues. Double T, you have nothing. Let's go with nothing. It stops. Oh, thanks, Timon. You always know what to say. It's how I feel. It starts. It starts with an aneurysm and then it ends with extreme rage. Oh, I know. You guys are like. Gildan, what are you talking about? You sound drained. Is everything okay? Um, yeah, you know, like, let's just start with the game. It's, it's, it starts out wonderfully. It, it's got bright neon grass and uh, pink, purplish um, landscape background. Pride Rock. Where is Pride Rock like a magenta pink? Um, we got an island animation. We got rhinoceros beetles. They hurt. Like everything else. We got a roar. It does nothing. Or I failed to show it off. One of the two. I don't even know at this point. Got got insects. We got bugs. Bugs restore your health. Which is great. Beetles explode. Did I mention that? Beetles explode? So your roar actually does something. It does two it does three things to the enemies. You got you got the bug. Ex health extension, which is nice. You got checkpoints. Uh, yeah, your roar does three things. It either stuns, explodes, or I guess you could say instant kills. Um, or, you know, it makes enemies vulnerable. As such, vulnerable. Got a one up. One up is fantastic when you're on hard mode. We got we got bugs. There's two types of bugs. One restores more health. The other one restores a little bit of health. Suns are continues. That's why I wanted to bring up right there. Uh, so porcupines, you can do two things. You can somersault under them because Simba has a somersault. I can also almost somersault off of cliffs. Also, Simba is a dragonborn that hurts himself. He's the Dova cub. I can't think of anything else. Uh, I'm brain dead right now. I know. You guys are like, killed him. What's up? What's going on? You got bonus bugs. Bonus bugs are nice. They're good. I like them. So like the health extension, we also have a roar extension. That blue bug will do just that. You can stun chameleons. The first level is really not so bad. It's actually quite pleasant. I like I like kind of the uh, near background. It's very lush. It's very peaceful. The music is very nice. You got a boss fight, which isn't so nice. Yeah, hyena. I don't remember these things in the Pride Lands, or if they did, Mufasa got like you know got like serious and he had to be like Simba, go go back to the den, you know, because Zazu was a joy kill. So hyenas are really where I notice bosses there are enemies take more hits. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But what about that dark spot in the corner? You must never go there, Simba. Oh, bug toss. Uh 
Bug Toss is our mini game. Remember I said we got bonus bug? Yeah, we got a bug toss right here. And I messed up. 17 bugs. Eh, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know how many people have actually like gotten very far in that. You can get stuff in that, but otherwise it's uh kind of pointless. Anyways, we got the uh I can't wait to be king. The uh careful what you wish for song, you know. It's uh, it's it's an interesting level. I don't mind it. Still drained, but that's not the point. This this is a cool level because uh, you got roar at the monkeys. You can change these guys. The blue ones are pretty much uh, you can't change them. But when you roar at a monkey, specifically the uh, purple, are those purple? Can I say they're purple? They, they kind of look pink. I don't know. When you roar at them, it changes the direction they throw you, which is cool. On the other hand, rhinoceroses, rhinoceri, whatever, they're they're jerks. I like how they're just standing there being like, duh? What's that? It's running at me quite fast. Ugh, checkpoint. This part. Aside from the ostrich level, which I got through, not too bad, I might add. Uh, rhinoceroses, I don't like rhinoceros. We got platforming. It's, it's, this level is all about platforming. I don't like this part. <sighs> Let me just work up the courage. Face your own death. Face your own death. Face your own death. Face your own death. Great. Got a one up. Yeah, but it's not over yet. And face your own death. Okay. Hardest part is behind me now, sort of. Whoa! Except, you know, I could have almost died. <laughs> oh, way to jinx yourself, Gildum. Good going. You really almost killed yourself in the game. We, uh, we also got another ostrich section. No hints this time. You, but if you played it over and over again like I have, you got a muscle memory. <laughs> Oof. Oh. You gotta be able to tell the difference between a double jump and when to duck. I guess when to jump because stupid rhinoceros. <laughs> oh. Game's gonna give me a heart attack. But before that, I'm gonna collect this one up, you know, because that's what I do. Collect one ups, you roar at monkeys, and then I go on the path that I changed to get more one ups. Also, that bug there, I highly recommend collecting it. We'll get that in a second. For now, I just gotta get that guy. Okay, good, good. Now, this part, if you're not ready for it, could totally screw you over. You want to get them when they're on their top float or whatever. When they're floating a little bit up. When the buoyancy is above. That, that's when you jump on them. Otherwise, you may fall into the water because uh, they, they slowly sink. That's how I'm going to explain that. That's the best I can do. The whole reason we did this is so we can change that guy. Also, that is what I was saying about that bug. Get a little bit of momentum, do a long jump. Oh, did I mention there's two types of jumps? There's a high jump and then there's a long jump. Uh, long jump usually will save your life. High jump will take you to new places. That's really all I can say about that. But otherwise, uh, this that's it. We did it. We, we beat the level. Not too bad. Two levels. Also, we got Bug Hunt. I like Bug Hunt. I like Bug Hunt because... Uh, it's a, it's a good level. I like Pumbaa's minigame. I find Bug Hunt is a lot more lucrative when trying to get one-ups. Except, you know, you uh, you get a Black Widow, yeah, end it. That is not so lucrative. That's, that's actually very unfortunate. Okay, Elephant Graveyard. I just want you, the viewers, to know this is, this right here is the reason why I sound drained. Um, if it's not apparent, I've been, um, I've been replaying this level a lot. This is really where difficult to start showing its, its stuff. You see, these hyenas, I would say, did I, did I mention some enemies take more hits to kill? Some enemies, I, I should probably rephrase that, and difficult, when you change the setting to difficulty, when you set the, that bug will hurt you. I, I needed to pause and 
explain that for a second. When you change the difficulty setting, enemies take more hits. Hyenas were the most notable, so, and uh, they were the first boss, right? Can I say that? I also collected the bonus bug. Uh, okay, gotta go. Avoided fighting a guy. Also, we got vultures. They're really annoying. If hyenas are bosses, I don't see why those guys can't be considered bosses. Although they don't really work. I don't remember vultures from The Lion King. Anyone remember vultures? You know what I remember vultures from? The Jungle Book. Because there was vultures. They all had English accents. I don't know why, but they did. Also, there's a reason why you want to scale up these little platform bone things. It's just a little tricky, but if you can do it. Oh, did I did it? Good. Okay. You got health on that side. You also got a black widow. I don't want... Okay, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to fall off. I just want to leap to get that one up. That makes me happy. I guess I could use a little bit of health, but I don't want to get it. You can also avoid this guy if you're clever enough. I am not. But I did kill him. That makes me happy. I should mention the game is very, very generous with its health power-ups. Anyways, Black Widow, that thing. It's from the minigame that we were just in. Did I spawn that guy? We'll take it. Next game. And these things happen like this. Black Widows, like the minigame, they will also end your life. Or rather, they're not instant game over. They just, they just take away health. I don't recommend it. Also, avoiding vultures, I do recommend. Geysers, ugh, it's a death. Okay. The reason why I was like, and these little plat- You got a platform, Siva! Come on, platform, platform, platform! You got this! I got a platform like I know! <laughs> That's why I don't like about these things. Sometimes you do that. Sometimes you do that. I wish I could have done that. I wish I could have showed that off with the other ones, but nope. Had to take the life. Platform Simba. Platform me like you've never platformed before. You got this. You're acrobatic for some reason. I don't know why. I know cats are have really good reflexes. Also, you can vulture juggle sometimes. Which I highly recommend with these guys. Oh my god, I got that guy. I should mention something. Um... The vulture that just flies into the screen, it has, it, he has more hits than these guys. See, those guys have three. If they fly into the screen, they have, uh, they have four hits. I don't know why. The game, programmers just decided that that's a thing. I don't like it. Uh, because it, it's really annoying. I don't like fighting vultures. If I don't have to fight them, I don't want to fight them. Of course, I can also mess up and make boo-boos, like I did just there. And that's no fun for anyone. Not gonna lie, I don't like making mistakes. It's necessary to, you know, explore and, and kind of learn and grow, you know, part of the learning process. That, that's really what I'm trying to say. Making mistakes is part of a learning process, but, you know, messing up a whole bunch and screwing yourself over and having, having freaking hyenas everywhere. Oh. I not not good not good not good not good <laughs> if, if you hear me whining it's because I don't this this part right here this this is you have to fight three of these guys and and this is where this is where the manning happens this is also where I'm going to cut it. You know, I, I actually like how it's been going so far. You know, despite the fact that I sound really drained. And you guys now know why I sound really drained. Because this level is ridiculous. I know it has the Be Prepared theme playing in the background. Like the last level had I Can't Wait to Be King. And, and the other one had the iconic Lion King music. But, but like, what can I say? We got... We, Now is time when I go into all focus mode. When you get to that one part where you gotta focus on one. And you gotta, you gotta be super careful.
Oh my god. Okay. You know we'll take one hit, but I gotta focus on this guy. Okay. This is going. I can do this. I can do this. I got both of them out of the way. This guy this is the only one. Uh, my heart's beating. I did. I did. I did. I did. No, 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 no. Oh, I beat the level. <laughs> I take it that was Sean, Shanzi, Bonzi, and Ned.